Hi, I'm Brady Hines. I'm a registered psychotherapist and a clinical traumatologist. So we all experience anxiety um, in some form. It, it motivates us to get out of bed in the morning. It motivates us to, to go to work, to do these responsibilities, whatever it may be. But when it becomes too much and, and it's debilitating, it's, it takes uh, a lot to do some of those things that would once be normal for us. And that's when it's important to, to get that support that you may need. Every client is unique for sure, but it's important that we always start with some stabilization. And so uh, developing some coping skills, making sure we have that stable path and foundation before we rock the boat and, and dig into some of that, that deeper trauma, okay? Uh, when the going gets tough, they'll have these kind of resources, this toolkit that we've developed to lean back on um, and, and making sure that they're, they're in a secure place when we finish dealing with, with some of that trauma. Some people come in to, to get some support and they don't even realize that some of these things that they've experienced have been traumatic to them, that they've been pushing things down and internalizing them and, and it's slowly building and building and, and growing into something much bigger than it maybe would have been had they addressed it at the time. It's hard. It's hard to be vulnerable, to open up to a complete stranger about some of these things that you may be struggling with. But if you continue to, to hold this in and internalize it, growth can't occur. Um, you have to be honest and open with the person who's supporting you so that progress can move forward, so that they can have the full picture of what kind of support that you truly need. We're doing things until we feel great, and then because we feel great, we stop doing some of those things that helped us to get to where we were. And so it's important for us to be consistent with, with our actions. And I know it sounds overwhelming to think that we're going to create this toolkit and, and these are things that you need to do for the rest of your life. But it's, in, it's important for you to continue to check in with yourself on, on a weekly basis to, to see how things are going. If things aren't going great, what is one change that, that you can make? Uh, more often than not, that, that first step it's the hardest. And after that, you get some momentum. You can push forward and push forward and, and you become more equipped to handle some of these difficult situations. The hardest climb always has the best view. And so it's going to take some time. It's going to take some work and it's going to get really hard. You have to sit with some of those uncomfortable feelings and those uncomfortable thoughts. And then we process through that. We, we dig through some of that. And when the going gets tough, I'm going to be here. I'm going to be there to support them along the way. Okay. And I always give my 100% uh, attention and focus and support to these individuals and whoever I'm, I'm working with. 